Hey Sugar Geeks, Liz here again. Today we're making another really cool, really trendy fault line cake, but this time we've got a little bit of a twist. We're making a gummy center. Not just any gummy, wine gummies. So if you're a wine lover, you're gonna love this cake. First, we're going to start off by making our rose wine gummy center. You can find this recipe on sugargeekshow.com slash recipes. I'm gonna take my jello mixture and pour it into a cake pan until it's about three inches tall. This is pretty tall, and if you want your gummy center to be shorter, you can definitely make it thinner. Now, we're just gonna put this in the fridge and let it chill overnight to get firm. Okay, so now we're gonna take our gelatin that's been chilling overnight, and we gotta remove it from the pan. So I'm just gonna put some hot water around it, and it only takes like a minute. As soon as you see that it's released from the pan, it has already, it's ready. See how fast that was? Okay, our gummy is set. Let's go ahead and flip the plate over and carefully lift up the pan, and voila! So jiggly, but so fun. Okay, so now we're gonna start putting our cake on top of the jello. So, the jello that was like liquidy, it, it does like firm up after a couple minutes, so just give it a minute. <laughs> and it's really weird <laughs> icing jello. <laughs> so it's really strange. When I was growing up, we used to have jello on our desserts all the time. So this is like no, no big deal. So I'm just putting a little bit of buttercream on the bottom but this is actually the bottom of the cake, so you don't have to like frost frost it. And then I'm gonna crumb coat the sides, and then I'm gonna put it into the freezer for about 10 minutes or so, just to kind of get that buttercream to firm up, because that's what's holding the jello to the cake. <laughs> just I seen a jello cake, cause it's my job. Got my cake board going right on top, center you could do this afterwards but you know we literally are just building like an upside down jello cake all right into the freezer we go now we're gonna flip it over did you catch that we're flipping over i feel like we do that a lot on this channel we do a lot of flipping and freaking people out i'm gonna separate the plate it's a tower of jello it's a little bit too entertaining Another layer of buttercream. And then the giant cake on top. So my uh, producer here was asking how are we gonna actually cut this cake? And that's a valid question because it is a giant, you know, slab of jello. And the answer is with a knife. <laughs> We're literally just gonna cut it. And uh, this jello is really firm and will cut just, just fine. And um, when you're eating it, it'll just taste like whipped cream with jello. I mean, haven't you ever had a parfait before? <laughs> so I'm just trimming down my cakes because I feel like they were a little bit too big. So, you know, did all that work frosting and then was like, this looks terrible. I think it needs to be more of the same size. So I think a six inch and like a seven inch cake would be perfect. Okay, quick little crumb coat and then into the fridge. Okay, the cake is chilled, the buttercream is nice and firm. I'm gonna put some buttercream in a piping bag. So I'm just gonna pipe a nice little line that's not really straight. This is where you do the fault line. The fault line is not perfect. All right, now we're just gonna flatten out the top. So now I'm gonna take my bench scraper and just smooth out the edges. I'm going to fill in some of the gaps with buttercream and then just keep smoothing. It just looks like it's a big piece of jello covered in frosting. <laughs> okay, so now I've got the final go around with the warm bench scraper. Just ran it under some hot water and then dried it off. Smooth out those edges. What do you think of my jello cake, Avalon? <laughs> you got buttercream on your nose. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> is that silly? How do it wiggles? Because Jello's wiggly, like this. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna just paint this edge with a little bit of Truly Mad Plastic Super Gold and 
some Everclear mixed together because I just feel like a rose, a rose cake needs a gold edge. Okay, so now I'm gonna top this cake with a wine glass. This is just like a little cheapo glass that I got from the store. And we're gonna use these little wine gummies. The recipe is on the blog. Same thing we used for this middle part right here. So I've got all of these little jello gummies and all these different sizes because I think it just kind of looks more like, you know, bubbles. I'm just gonna put them in there. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of buttercream on here to kind of hold up my glass. You stay in there, giant jello gummy. There we go. That. And then you can kind of arrange all of the little ones like they're coming out. And the great thing about the Jello gummies is they're just like a tiny bit sticky, so they stick to each other pretty well. Oh! <laughs> now I don't want to see any comments about me drinking wine and eating Jello gummies while I'm pregnant. I didn't eat any. <laughs> it is possible for me to not eat the cake. But these were um, quality control tested by my producer, <laughs> who said that they were delicious. This is so cute. Can you imagine trying to deliver this? I don't really recommend it. <laughs> I would definitely put these on at the end, like when you get there. What a nightmare. Cannot stop wiggling. Well, that's it guys. That is how you make a Jell-O fault line cake with wine gummies. Hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more cool videos like this and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs>